Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy peasy chicken biryani. Here I have a cup and a quarter of rice that has been parboiled, not too soft, with some salt for taste. Two tablespoons of biryani dough with a pinch of salt. Half an onion. Two tomatoes with a split of curry leaf. A whole chicken which has been cut. Three tablespoons of curry powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and one teaspoon of jeera powder. A tablespoon each of garlic and ginger. My spices here are one dried chili, one teaspoon of fennel, two star anise seed, one big lychee, and two cinnamon sticks. For braising, I have half an onion, a couple sprigs of thyme, two lychee pod, two bay leaf, and then here we have for garnish. A handful of coriander and half a handful of mint. I've got the potatoes frying already, so let's take a look. I fried them up. The reason being is because when they go into biryani, I don't want them to get mashed. I'm just creating a coating over them. They're ready now, as you can see. I'm going to take them off and we're going to start with the biryani. As you guys can see, it's nicely crisped up. So now, while the oil is still hot I'm going to be adding in my spices we we'll let that fry up move it around this is basically a one pot biryani and I'm going to add in the onion let that fry up chicken biryani is actually the quite easiest to make just stack everything into one pot and you throw it into the oven. This is going to fry up. So it's nice and soften. Try and use a big pot, guys, in the sense that when you put everything together, it doesn't become mashed up when you try to turn your biryani while it's in the oven. So now that it's frying up, going to put in our curry powder and spices. Now that it's fried up, I'm going to be adding in the garlic and ginger. And it up and just move it around. To the onions brown nicely. And to this, I'm going to be adding in all my curry powders at the same time. So, okay, I'm adding in the tomatoes as well. Give this a good stir. To this, I'm going to be adding in my chicken now, along with my salt. Remember guys, salt is as per taste. Let's get that now. So I'm going to drop in my chicken now. I'm going to give it a good stir. Everything is nicely coated. And then to this, I'm going to be adding in the salt. And this is going to simmer for about 15 minutes in its own juices so that the curry powder gets absorbed into the chicken. And thereafter, we're going to be adding in the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add in my salt. That's as per your taste. I'm going to cover this up and let it cook for 15 minutes. Okay, guys, it's been 15 minutes. This just gives us. As you can see, the tomatoes have melted down. The chicken is cooking nicely. Now I'm going to be adding in my potatoes and my biryani dog. And go the potatoes. And I'm just going to scatter the biryani dog so it cooks. There we go. Everything in for a nice mix. This is going to cook for another 5 minutes and then we're going to drop in the rice and let that steam in the oven. Okay. Now while this is cooking, we're going to get the braise ready for our biryani. So let's get that started. So here I've got a stick of butter which is melting. You can use butter ghee if you like. Into this I'm going to drop in my bay leaf. My lighty pot, my thyme, 
and my onion. I'm going to get this dry up. It's nice and golden brown. And then we're going to drop this into the biryani. I'm not adding any salt to this as I'm using salted butter. Brown up nicely. Let this fry up. You can get some of the thyme and the onion with the bay leaf. It smells quite good. So while this is drying up, we're going to check on our curry now. Our almost ready biryani. It's all clear. Okay, nicely. You can do dal with your biryani, but I am actually making a braised sour milk salad, which I'm going to show you guys just now. Just going to let this cook. The reason why I'm not cooking it too much is because it's going to the oven, like I said before, and it will cook with the steam in the oven. So let's go back to our braising mix. Starting to fry. Let's give this another three minutes and it should be nice and golden brown. Okay guys, this is getting golden brown. I'm gonna put the stove off now and I'm going to drop this into our almost ready biryani. You can see it bubbles up nicely. I'm just gonna drop this into the pot. Let that cook. Just give it a stir. So while we're doing this, don't want to stir too much to break up the chicken. I'm going to be adding my coriander and my mint to this. And then we're going to add the rice lastly. Let's get the rice. Okay, while this is bubbling, I'm going to put in spoonfuls of rice over the top while the oven is getting nice and hot. This won't be long in the oven. As I said to you, this is pre-cooked rice. Just drop this in. Gently. There we go. I'm gonna give this a good stir so that the chicken and the biryani dough and the gravy is all mixed up make our wonderful biryani this is why I said use a big pot guys as you don't want things to get mashed up and your rice becoming almost porridge like there we go if you feel your biryani is a bit dry when you mix it up together you can add in a quarter cup of water just to let it steam or if it's but wet like mine, it's fine. You're just going to cover it up and put it into the oven. Okay. So everything's nice and coated now. I'm going to put this into the oven at 180 for another 25 minutes. And then we're going to be ready to have our biryani. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how to make the braised sour milk salad. Okay, guys, for the sour milk salad here, I have a handful of mint and cucumber. A quarter piece of cucumber okay I just cut up the mint into tiny pieces and I've cut up the cucumber as you can see I've mixed them together for braising I have a quarter piece of carrot four leaves of curry leaf a quarter piece, uh, piece of onion one gradually broken in half and half a teaspoon of mustard seeds so now I'm going to braise this entire thing here with some batter which is a quarter stick let's get going here you can see i've got some melted butter and sweet i'm just going to drop in the dried chilies let that fry up for a bit and then i'm going to drop in some mustard seeds as you can see Basically, you can add everything together. There we go. I'm 
something. Let us fry up. I'm not going to be adding salt to this, but I'm going to be adding salt to our sour milk here. I'm going to fry up. Nothing too fancy or, or hard. It's quite an easy recipe to do. You can see our carrots and onions are frying up nicely. And we're not looking for a golden color here. Just for it to fry a bit. And it's done now. So I'm going to switch off the stove. Now we're going to chop this into our lettuce and cucumbers okay just want to share something with you guys if you want to get all your butter out you just add in your sour milk to your braise that's about a cup of it give it a good mix and into this i'm going to add in my salt that's a teaspoon of salt give this a good mix so you have a nice warm sour milk salad okay now i'm going to take this and pour it into my mint and cucumber okay there we go and give it a good stir so everything is combined and there you have it guys our braised sour milk salad easy peasy so now we're just waiting for our biryani and we're ready to serve lunch okay let this cool down it's still quite warm ready to eat here we go guys the final reveal of our chicken biryani still piping hot out of the oven now we're going to plate this up with our braised sour milk salad and some normal salad there we go our chicken biryani easy peasy with some salad and our gray sour milk salad please don't forget to like subscribe subscribe comment and hit the bell button hope you guys enjoyed our video take care bye